the shingles. Not a lot of mingle. I got shing, shing, shing. Not a lot of ming, ming, ming. I got shing, shing, shing. Not a lot of ming, ming, ming. <laughs>
in denial, I was like, no, I don't. I got bitten. And she went, no, it's shingles. And I was like, but I got bitten though. And she was like, it's shingles. And then she printed off. Let me just say, first of all, this doctor I absolutely love. She's one of the best doctors I have ever come in contact with my whole 21 years of life. <laughs> all the girls said 21 years. Oh, child. I'm as young as I feel, okay? And okay, fair enough. Right now, I'm in a lot of pain. So I may, might not feel 21, but 25 tops, okay? But anyway, she print me off, um, big up yourself, Dr. Raj, yeah. So um, so she printed me off some, uh, a copy of some information about what shingle is and what causes shingles. I started to tell you guys, didn't I? And I strayed from the point. So shingles is caused by the same virus that it, that causes chicken pox. So basically when you have chicken pox, right, and you heal from chicken pox, sometimes, unfortunately, this virus can remain kind of dormant in your body. Apparently they say somewhere around the spinal cord area, right? So this virus can re um, remain dormant in the body, but it can also reactivate later on. This reactivation can cause by nothing and it could cause by stress. I'm saying mine caused by stress because I was really stressed on Monday when it happened, as I said before. So, you know, but whatever reason it is, that's the reason. So when this virus reactivates, same virus reactivates and it causes shingles. Don't panic, you cannot catch shingles from somebody. So I won't be able to give anybody shingles. However, child, if you've never had chicken pox and you've never been vaccinated, stay away. Because I'ma give you the pox. The chicken pox. The chicken pox. So yeah, so I'm contagious to those people who've never had chicken pox and has never been vaccinated. So that, now that we've said that and we've got that out of the way, boom, 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 back to the doctor's office. She gave me these leaflets and she gave me some tablets. These tablets are like hella big, right? Hella big. Those who know me know I hate taking tablets. I'd rather like suffer with pain, like a headache or whatever ache it is, than to take tablets but when i had a look at what this thing was doing the rash and what it looked like and how ugh, it looked i was like uh-uh child mm -mm. i'm gonna take these pills i don't care because i am not gonna let this take of my body not my good body mm -mm. my good flawless uh body no -uh, i don't think so i said i don't think so so <laughs> so guys like they're massive let me show you the tablets actually you see, that's the tablet, right? I don't know why it's going so dark, but that's the tablet. And this is the size of the tablets, right? Can you see it? Right? Okay, that's the size of the tablets. Massive tablets. And she gave me um, 35 in a pack and I have to take one tablet five times a day for seven days seven days You don't understand Literally when I take a tablet, I put it all the way here Swallow it with a whole bottle of water. Yeah, and it usually ends with a face like Right, this is how much I hate taking tablets, but guys, I'm gonna put a picture up somewhere about the place. I don't know where, but I'm gonna put a picture up so you can see what I'm talking about. And it's so, so, so painful. I even had a fever on Wednesday. I had a bit of a fever, headaches. And then I started having little pains kind of like in my lower back as well. And I was like, no. Cause the thing is after a while, the pain wasn't just in the area of where the, um, the rash was. The pain was everywhere. So I had it, girl, I had pains in my butt cheeks. Mm, my left butt cheek. I couldn't even sit. I was sitting on one side of my one butt cheek, like, ugh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I had like pains there just below, you know, on my thigh, in my groin area, all the way down to like my knee, my lower back. I was in pain. I was so uncomfortable. I didn't know how to sleep. I was like trying to turn in positions. I was feeling pain at the front of my thigh, even though it was at my back of my thigh. I was just in so much pain. I still am in a lot of pain, but I can tell that it's the the pill, the medication. I think it's it's an antiviral um 
medication and I can tell where it seems like it's kicking in because I have these times where the pain is there like intense intense but then it kind of calms down it's still there but it calms down I don't know if it's because I'm kind of high on painkillers I don't know but it happens and I'm just glad for that little relief that I get when it's a bit lower and it's a bit more manageable because like I said pain shingle pains is very hard to deal with and I was reading up about it and apparently in some cases you even after the virus has dried up completely people go on to feel I can't remember what it's called but I'd research it um you people can go on to have that which gives you the shingle pains for years and years and years after the virus has healed now I know what pain I just felt and what I'm still feeling imagine I have to feel that for the rest of my life mm, child it's just not fear it's not it's not fear but yes guys um so yeah so that's it i've got the shingles and i don't know i'm just fingers crossed that i'll be able to for it to heal completely and this pain will go and i won't end up with the pain but i thought i'd share that with you guys because even on um thursday it was the worst pains like ever ever forever ever forever ever so when i was making that weight loss video it was so difficult because i'm the kind of person i'm a bit hyper i'm a bit bubbly so i'm all over the place usually <laughs> as you can tell but um i was trying there was times that i was in so much agony i was trying my best not to let that come through because i wasn't even planning and telling anyone that i had telling you guys that i had shingles i wasn't going to share it but then i thought to myself you know what if i'm going to let people into my life i might as well just let people in my life and i'm i'm letting i'm opening the door and i'm letting you guys in so i got shingles i got shingles not a lot of mingle i got shingles i'm not a lot of mingle I got shing, 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 not a lot of ming, ming, ming. I got shing, 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 not a lot of ming, ming, ming. I got shingles, not a lot of mingle. See, this is a song that I made up because I kept telling everyone I got shingles. I can't mingle. <laughs> so this is my song it's my shingle song guys but yes guys hopefully by next week they say it should clear up i can see the difference where it's changing i can see where it's healing but it's the pain that comes and go and it's just well the pain that intense still stays but it gets intense <laughs> but um i'm hoping that i'll be completely healed up i can see where the um the rash seems to be shrinking a little bit which is making me happy because boy, I could not stand to look at it. I'm gonna show you guys, it looks so disgusting guys. Imagine if I didn't catch that on time. When I went to the doctor, she said to me, we're getting it in the early stages. And I'm like, thank God, because if this was not in the early stages or, cause I was using salt water and I was using Dettol to kind of wipe it down. Cause I'm thinking if I've gotten bitten, then I need to sanitize it and just hope for the best, you know, stop it from getting infected. And trust me, if I hadn't gone to the doctor and found out and started taking this antiviral medication, things could have gotten so, so bad. Because that virus can spread. It, it Apparently, it normally stays on one side of the body, but it could have spread all over my thigh, my leg, and like I said to you, it would have spoiled and ruined my nice, decent thighs, and so and so. So I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. So guys, if you find any rash, if you feel any pain, because when mine started, like I said, it came up with a cramp. Cramp, it wasn't painful, it was a cramp, then the pain. So if you see any form of rash on your body, do not delay it, trust me. Take it from me, do not delay it. Find out, it's best to be safe than to be sorry, because I am so glad that I was trying to be safe. <laughs> I did wait, I was gonna put it off a few days as well. I was gonna like, no, I'ma wait a couple of days, I'll be fine, you know. But yes, guys, please do it for yourself. Do it for your skin. Do it for your health. Do it for me. Please, please, please. If you see a rash on your body and it's not meant to be there and there's pain and it's not going away after a couple of days, the doctor's office. That's what I'm saying. The doctor's office. Okay? Make sure the doctor's office. But guys, that is my update for today. That is my update for today. I have to tell you guys, I've got the shingles. The shingles, not a lot of mingle. I got shing, 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 not a lot of ming, 
ming, ming. I got shing, shing, shing. Not another ming, ming, ming. <laughs> <laughs>